Hello, I am Walpole Town Administrator Jim Johnson, and I am here to deliver the fiscal year 2024 budget message. The $114.4 million balance budget that I present today is a culmination of months worth of work and deliberation among town officials. The development of the town's yearly operating budget is one of the most challenging and important responsibilities that I undertake each year as the town administrator. The annual budget message serves as Walpole's largest and most significant policy document. The spending plan outlined in these budgets reflect strong collaboration, thoughtful consideration, and some tough choices with the goal of best supporting our community in the year ahead. It demonstrates our organization's commitment to top community priorities and shared values. Most of all, it centers on the needs of many types of people who make Walpole so special. Central to these values is the fundamental idea that government works to improve the quality of life and create level opportunities for everyone here in Walpole. We are committed to making Walpole a more equitable, responsive organization for our hiring and employment practices to our budget and policy decisions down to the services we provide on a daily basis. This past year, I am pleased to report department heads participated in the first of many retreats to better recognize and understand implicit bias. Just this past fall, the select board authorized a local initiative plan designed to create more affordable housing opportunities for residents downtown. Further, we currently are conducting a classification study for our non-union salary position designed to ensure that internal equality and fairness and to guarantee that equal pay is provided for equal work. It is important to note that the financial and budgetary information presented in the fiscal 24 budget are projections and are subject to change prior to town meeting. I expect that the select board, finance committee, school committee, and other officials will have extensive public discussions regarding the fiscal year 2024 budget throughout the next few months during their budget deliberations. The message I deliver today is one of continued confidence and optimism. The town's financial management has been strong over the past several years, and the outlook for fiscal 24 continues our investments in quality municipal services and will allow us to continue to grow on our previous successes. Prior to providing an overview of the revenue and expenditures, I'd like to highlight some of the projects that are ongoing in Walpole. On the municipal side, the town has undertaken multiple construction projects that have allowed the town to address Walpole's aging infrastructure. In the fall of 2021, Walpole took the necessary steps to address Walpole's school infrastructure needs when residents passed an override vote that allowed the town to construct a new middle school at the site of the current Bird Middle School. In a time of volatile market prices for public building construction, I am pleased to report that the final bids have come in under budget. As of the writing of this budget message, the site work and the building foundation are both underway, with the building expected to be completed in time for the school year in the fall 2024. Town officials continue to work towards addressing the facility needs at the Walpole High School, which were identified in the statement of interest that was submitted to the MSBA back in 2018. Working with the same design team that developed the middle school project, the town completed the feasibility study phase late last year and entered the schematic design phase for an addition or renovation project earlier this year. At this point, I expect a capital request to come from the school committee to be considered for the annual fall town meeting in 2023 to complete the next project design phase. There are a number of major commercial and residential projects that are ongoing in Walpole. The building department and the community development department remain busy assisting with the development throughout Walpole. The building department issued almost 1,600 building permits in 2022, compared to 1,400 in 2019, just before COVID hit. As you can see by the projects listed on screen, the economy in Walpole continues to be strong. When preparing the proposed operating budget, 
it was my expectation that the budget would be considered a lean budget by Walpole standards. One of the overarching goals at the start of the budget development process was to attempt to maintain services in fiscal year 24 at the same level as the current fiscal year, with the exception of adding an additional deputy fire chief position to address staffing needs we are experiencing in the Walpole Fire Department, I was able to achieve this goal. It was also my intention to support the budgetary needs of the Walpole Public Schools. School and town officials have a proven track record of working cooperatively together and have always found ways to provide the necessary funding for the school district to meet their needs and provide outstanding education to our students. Based on the meetings school and town officials have had leading up to the delivery of this message, I believe that the budget that is being presented meets these needs. The proposed fiscal year 2024 budget that I present to you totals $114.4 million. The primary source of revenue for Walpole is the property tax levy. The total amount anticipated to be raised from the tax levy for fiscal year 2024 is $92.3 million, which utilizes the full limits of Proposition 2.5. In addition to these funds derived from Proposition 2.5, local receipts also make up just about $9.5 million of the budget. As one might expect, predicting future revenue figures can be di a difficult process in normal times. However, given the volatile economy we find ourselves in, this year has been especially challenging. Throughout the development of the revenue projections, the finance director and I were mindful of the possibility of the economy slowing down from its frenzied pace over the next year and a half. Some officials at the state level have begun to use the phrase slow session as they have been developing the revenue projections for the upcoming fiscal year where the growth rate of the economy slows down but doesn't collapse. Our revenue projections here in Walpole attempted to balance the town's budgetary needs while also being mindful of the comments and findings issued at the state level. The budget that is being presented for this fiscal year includes moderate increases to some of the various departments in town. As we budget for 24, we have six union contracts that are on the town side that are set to expire at the end of this fiscal year. I expect that over the next few months, Town officials will continue to work with the various municipal unions towards settling each of these contracts before they expire. Once they are settled, they will be presented to town meeting for consideration. Walpole Public Works Department continues to be busy and actively manage uh, and perform critical community service operations such as road and sidewalk repairs, athletic field repairs, common grounds maintenance, and snow and ice control. The fiscal year 24 budget does not propose any major budgetary changes to the departments that make up the Walpole Public Works. Director Matson and his skilled team of superintendents, department heads, and employees continue to be innovative in the approach they take when it comes to taking on projects here in Walpole. Many of the projects that would typically be contracted out are now performed in-house by our staff. Walpole's police and fire personnel continue to serve on the front lines. I am grateful for their continued professionalism and adaptability. The select board continues to be focused on providing each department with the staffing and resources to keep our community safe. The fire department continues to see significant increases in their total calls for service. The demand for services will continue as the growth of our community continues to expand with larger multi-story buildings. The fire department budget will increase by about $177,000 this year. Last year at this time, we had 47 total firefighters funded as part of the operating budget. I'm pleased to report that the fiscal 24 budget fully funds the 47 firefighters and adds a new deputy chief position that will oversee emergency medical services and training. This new position, which is set to begin on October 1st, will help improve efficiency and operations within the department. On the police side, the department remains very busy. Over the last year, more than 21,000 incidents were reported and investigated by the department. In the face of new legislative changes, Chief Kelleher and the select board continue to focus on community policing, police officer training, and social services, supporting the ongoing public safety measures in our community. 
As part of this initiative, the department has secured mental, a mental health clinician to be embedded in with the patrol officers and respond to calls for service that involve individuals in crisis. This position will be funded through a grant from the Department of Public Health and the clinician will be dedicated slow, solely to the Walpole Police Department and will continue to work in a full-time capacity. Chief Kelleher and Deputy Kilroy continue to work collaboratively with the Walpole Police Officers Union to ensure that all of the recent police reforms at the state level are implemented and adhered to. Additionally, Walpole Police Department continues to work hard to build strong relationships and ensure that they adhere to their mission of being a partner with the community to solve problems and improve public safety in a manner that is fair, impartial, transparent, and consistent. I've been very impressed with the welcoming manner in which the Walpole Police Department have embraced all the new reforms. I commend Chief Bailey, Chief Kelleher, all the dispatchers, police officers, and firefighter in Walpole for their daily efforts and protection. On the education side, public education continues to be one of Walpole's top priorities. This year, the total public education line recommended is $55.1 million. I am mindful of the increasing financial demands that all of the educational budgets have requested for fiscal 24. Increases in the operating budget, such as those I have faced in recent years in response to the needs of the educational budget, are simply not sustainable within the available reoccurring funds. We must carefully work with all school officials to evaluate all requests for additional funding in the years to come. This being said, I am pleased to report that the recommended budget for all three educational lines will meet the needs of the school districts. Tri-County officials have advised that the enrollment continues to rise year over year, which is contributing to Walpole's substantial increase to its assessment in FY24. As such, I've budgeted $1.7 million for this line, which represents a 13% increase over fiscal 23. One very important item of note relating to the Tri-County School is the proposed $280 million school building that is being proposed by the Tri-County School Committee, which represents an expected impact to Walpole of more than $1.1 million over the next 30 years. It is expected that a district-wide vote of all 11 towns will be taken on October 24th of this year. If this vote were to pass, Walpole along with 10 other district towns will have some very difficult decisions to make to close the budget gap. I remain encouraged by the efforts made by Tri-County Superintendent McGuire and the Tri-County School Committee to attempt to address the need for additional building funding at the state level. I look forward to working with Superintendent McGuire the select board and Walpole's legislative delegation to address the vocational school building needs throughout the state. The recommended budget for the Walpole Public Schools Department stand at $53.2 million, which is a 3.7% increase over the current fiscal year. Superintendent Goff, School Business Manager Mike Frischer, and the school committee members have assured me that the budget I am recommending for the Walpole Public Schools for FY24 meets the district's needs. I commend Superintendent Goff and the school committee and all of Walpole's public school staff for their continued commitment to educational excellence in the face of the pandemic over the last few years. It is clear the leadership of the Walpole Public Schools have a vision for Walpole Public Schools that is focused on substantial operational and capital investments for the students in Walpole. This dedication is evident with the committee's hands-on work with the new middle school project and their visioning sessions for the work that is needed for Walpole High School. The proposed 24 debt budget provides for the payment in, of principal int interest costs for long-term and short-term bonds issued by the town for the general fund purposes. The fiscal 24 debt budget, which is set to be $7.7 .7 million, is approximately $1.1 million higher than fiscal 23, due primarily to funding for the debt exclusion vote that for the new middle school that was approved last fall. The town has recently been able to realize significant savings for our taxpayers when the select board acted to authorize a $70 million borrowing, enabling the town to take advantage of favorable interest rates. The select board's foresight has allowed the town to be in a strong borrowing position in the future. The assessment and friends benefits portion of the budget, which consists of 
other post post employment benefits, retirement assessment, net metering, and unemployment and insurance is budgeted to be a nine percent increase at this time. The budgeted OPEB contribution is five hundred thousand in twenty twenty four. This recommendation maintains our ongoing commitment to funding the town's OPEB liability. We continue to add to our financial reserves and maintain a solid double A plus bond rating for the town. The town's resources and reserves include free cash, stabilization, and the town's unassigned fund balance. Throughout my tenure as the town administrator, I've been proud to work with the select board and the finance committee to add to the town's reserves. These reserves provide much needed flexibility as we go out to borrow for some of the larger capital projects. And if ne ever necessary, the day comes where the town needs to access these reserves in order to bridge the potential budget gaps. The identified reserves will continue to allow us to preserve Walpole's long-term financial stability. The capital budget request last fall exceeded $36.9 million. Town meeting voted to fund more than $13.1 million in requests. I commend the Capital Budget Committee for their efforts overseeing the capital budget requests and the town's long-term planning processes. The water and sewer budgets next year will show a combined total of just over $12 million, with the Water Enterprise Fund coming in at $6.1 million and the sewer coming in at $5.8 million. The Water and Sewer Commissioners have worked hard over the last year to set water and sewer rates that have provided a good balance to meeting the needs of the water and sewer departments while also being mindful of not drastically increasing the rates across the board for ratepayers. At this time, there are 31 articles that are set to be considered at the Springtown meeting. A detailed description of that proposed warrant article will be available on the town's website very soon. This budget message in the accompanying overall budget is the sum of many hours of collaboration between town officials and our counterparts. Our collaborative approach to this process allows for the sharing of ideas and strategy resulting in an improved end result that best serves the needs of the community. This budget addresses the diverse and varied needs of our community while also being mindful of the financial position of Walpole's taxpayers. I would like to thank all of those who have assisted in this process, I look forward to working with the Select Board, the Finance Committee, and the School Committee as we finalize the FY24 budget over the next few months. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. 